All right, in this video, we're going to put in the implied texture of the shoe. So all the, like, I can feel that this is bumpy and it's got holes and it's meshy, but I wanna go in and I'm gonna draw it to make it look that way. But first I'm gonna go put in all these other little shapes. This is quite a complicated shoe. It's gonna take a while. So I'm gonna do it quick and not completely finish it because we'd be here for a good hour. <laughs> I'm just going to do it kind of quick. There's no dots there. All right, I know they're stitching. And I see a lot of stitching. I'm not gonna put in all my stitching because again, we'd here be here for a very long time. But you can see stitching all around all these big pieces. Now, I'm gonna turn my pencil to the side, two fingers on top, thumb underneath, to the side to get some shading. Now some of this in here just needs to be shaded. There's some lines. Something under my paper. It's causing those ripples. Make sure your area is clean. It doesn't mess up your drawing. Nice and dark underneath. want to fill that whole space but then there's this black I'm keeping my hand off my paper but if while I'm in here shading I need to put my hand down on my picture I'm going to show you what we're going to do get a paper towel to put my hand on it. All right, now I'm gonna go in and start doing some of the shading. I know it gets really dark under all these big pieces. So I'm gonna go in and start shading dark in there. And then it starts getting lighter when it's not under and behind. So I start lifting my pencil a little bit. And then on the toe, the light's hitting the top. I know it's nice and light up there. It's nice and dark down here. Try to get it nice and even so you don't have actual scratch lines from your pencil. I would do the same thing like in these under spots. But I know we're under these big shapes. I might go in and trace that line to bring it back out again. Go 
because I know that this line is kind of in the dark. It's going to be nice and dark. Now I do know that there's mesh, so I'm just going to lightly draw in these circles because I know there's mesh, but the circles get lighter as they go into the light part. That's creating value. tip here is nice and dark. Turn my pencil to the side. And maybe even use my eraser where I went over. Oh, did you see that? I just went like that because I'm so used to doing that whenever I'm doing math or reading and writing. But we don't want to do that because it's going to smear all that wonderful shading. So you need to come down and Give it a good blow to blow away all the eraser marks. You could go in. This right here is really dark, so I'm going to keep my pencil straight. The outer inside to get it nice and dark. Then bring it back out. And I would keep filling that space. Now I'm gonna look and I'm gonna do this all over my shoe until I get all the dark areas and light areas and fill in and all the implied texture. So don't forget the implied texture. And going back over lines to bring them back out. All right, good luck.